Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use either Beam and Open Track in, in your game. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to Beam's website and I'm gonna click on Try Beam for free and install it. I've done that already, so I'm not sure here. And then next thing you're gonna do, you go to Add the Extensions page. You can see the Open Track here and you go to the Setup Guide, which leads us to this page. So as I first, you have to download Beam, configure it and do the calibration, which I've done here already. So I, Beam shows up as a tray icon application when you install it. Then you have to enable gaming extensions, which I have done here. And once you enable gaming extensions, you can see your eyes moving here. So these are my eyes. Then you have to install OpenTrack. So you go click on this link here, which leads you to GitLab, GitHub. Uh, and then you find the latest setup installed and I install it. I have done that as well, so I have open track installed here. Then you it's best to start with an empty config in open track. So you go to open track, click the profile, create a new empty config. So I'm gonna call it Beam Star Citizen, which is the game I'm going to showcase today. So once I have created my new empty profile, I go to input, select either beam. Then I go to options, to find the global shortcut, the center method. I bind it to Alt B and click OK. I'm done. Then I can click start. And for example, here you see that I'm turning right, turning left, up, down, and you can see this octopus basically following me. Okay. Next thing we're gonna do. So we did these steps. We're going to launch our game, so I'm going to do this in the Star Citizen. So first thing you have to do, you have to go to Star Citizen, Options, you go to Comps, FYP, Head Tracking. Make sure the FYP tracking is turned off, so that it says No here. Right now it doesn't work with either Beam, but in future it might work. If you see the Iver Beam virtual camera here in the future, then you can just select it and turn both uh, FYP and head tracking. But for now, we're just going to disable it. And then we go to head tracking, select track IR, and then make sure this head tracking general toggle is yes. That's it. These are the minimum settings I need to do to start playing. Let me show it to you in the game. Okay, now that I'm in the game, I look at the middle of the screen and I press Alt V, which is the shortcut I set in Open Track. You can press it multiple times easier. And now I'm centered at the middle. So the camera will move with respect to my eyes and my head. So for example, if I look right, if I look left, if I look up, if I look down. This is good because in, in Star Citizen, you can move around the ship with your mouse, but then at the same time, you can look at different directions with your head without navigating the ship. So I can just hold the mouse still and then look around. My ship is not going to move. So then to customize it, you can go to B, click on setting. Go to general, and then here you can select. I had it on head actually, so you can select if the movement comes from head and gaze or just head. So I'm going to show you the head and gaze. And here you can see how much sensitive the head tracking or the eye tracking can be to the movement. So these you no know, default settings at 50 are good for me. And if I go to the game, okay, now when I look around, the in game camera moves. The ship is not moving, but the in-game camera moves. I just like I just can look around and the cam in-game camera moves. It moves both with my head for larger movements, and then it has small movements with my eyes. I can just look at my console here, up there, and just play the game. 
it gives you this really this immersion feeling. If you want to customize further, you can go to the mapping here. For example, by default, we cannot look back. If you put this ER to 90 degrees here and click OK, you should be able to look back in the game. Yeah, you can see, I can look all the way back at my sheet. But if it's not good for you, you can still customize it further. For example, I can increase the yaw and pitch range here so I can move my head less and then the in-game camera moves a lot more. If at some point it's, it goes out of calibration, so you just look at the middle of the screen and press Alt V. So for example, you can see here, the camera is moving a lot faster when I move my head. This is probably too much just to show you. So what I recommend here is that you turn off the gaze and adjust these head parameters first till the way you like it and then turn on head and gaze. Just keep your head still and then try to adjust these eye parameters here to get the best experience that you want. If it's still these parameters are not enough, you can go to the mappings here and for example, click on these parameters here to create custom curves for your yaw and pitch parameters, or even roll if you need. And if you are experiencing some jitterness, you can adjust the filter settings here. So you go to the Excel filter settings, and you can change the smoothing and dead zone parameters here. But the default values are really good. Just make sure you're in a well-lit environment. Yeah, at any time, if you have questions, you can go back to Skype or you can uh, talk to us on Discord to get more support.